Orko is watching the shade like a waking fart. Uh, I, I have no words. I, I have two. What? Uh, I'm hungry. On that note, welcome back to Let's Play Letter of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Don't you do this to the car recorder. It's still going, just, just make it through. Anyway, as for our last part where we talked about Persona Q, this time I come prepared with trivia. Because who doesn't like good old trivia? Good old trivia. But here's, a, but here's an interesting bit of trivia regarding the voice actor for Link. Oh. Let me just find this lady's name again. Right. The voice actor for Link in Wind Waker is a, is a woman named Sachi Matsumoto. And she also voices Link's sister and the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. Awesome. Very nice. So, Very nice. So essentially when Link talks to his sister, he's talking to himself. You can well, see something that's... about you and Adat too. <laughs> that's just funny to me. I wonder if it's cool if Adachi was DLC in Q. We're talking about Q again. That devil, we can't escape it. Uh, but today we talk about uh, Ultimax, because I've played that. I haven't. Well, give me a minute. Let's at least do some other trivia. I could have, but my brother's using the Xbox One. Why did the, You know what? Never mind. I, I just don't care. Yes, my brother owns an Xbox One. Uh, oh yes, explain this place. There are torches hidden around all over this place, and you cannot move past that thing. So from that thing, you literally need to light all the torches with fire arrows. So there. That's explained. Hello, the more trivia. Apparently, Link actually does have a swimming animation and a floating idly animation for this game. But Yeah, they're just not seen because of the water is not opaque. Yep. So is it... Apparently, if you could get to one of the test rooms in Wind Waker, you could actually see it. And I want to see what it looks like, actually. Uh, there's the actually a picture room. on the cutting room floor. I'll go get it for you. Please, do. Who knows what could be hidden underwater? There might be a yellow and purple T-Rex. Uh, yep. Wait, what? Why? Why? Yellow and purple T-Rex. That was a Primal Rage reference. I know. It could also be a... It could also very slightly, if you changed one color and flipped it around, be a Barney reference. Actually, one of Sauron's colors in that game is actually a... Uh... Barney Hatter. Oh god. Anyway. It's not a bit of trivia. Apparently in the first two dungeons, after you beat the bosses, while you usually just get like ambient sounds and stuff, there is a little bit of music there, and if you listen closely and speed it up a bit, it is actually the final hours music from a Druid's Mask. I said that several times. I don't remember you saying that. I said it every time it was brought up. Why do we bring it up? We brought it up. Every time a boss was defeated. I don't remember that, to be honest. Neither do I. Sorry, it's Johnny. It's been so <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Anyway, I found a picture. Splice oh. it into the video if you so see to. Okie dokie. So, do Majora's Mask connect? Two Majora's Mask connections in one video. Hmm. I'm not sure to find that out or not. Dude, that testing area. Yep, all those fours and twos. <laughs> it just reminds me of a my mod testing area from uh, Left 4 Dead 2. You mean Tank Playground? No, not Tank's Playground. Definitely not Tank's Playground. I don't test mods yet. I die there, that's the only thing that place is for. You don't die there, Leon dies there. <laughs> well, everyone dies there, let's just put it that way. So that's what happened to him after the rest of the war. Anyway, this is the Isle of Steel. 
which is literally the island with one purpose to contain <laughs> Richie Steele. Yes, this island's purpose is to contain Reggie Steel. We're summoning him right now. He's gonna help us with the rest of the game. <laughs> In real talk, though, this island contains a Triforce Tribe. I'm not even gonna bother waiting for the chest this time. It's just too much work. Oh, come on, with a name like the Isle of Steel, how could you not make a reference? <laughs> I don't even like Reggie Steel. It's our Isle of Rock. Red Jace is my man. There's Stonewatcher Island. Well, that's where you find Red Rock. In fact, I think we're going to Stonewatcher Island. Quick, we must go to the One Ice Island and get, and then finally we can come together and get Red Gigas. I'm but still God damn it, it, there is an Ice Island as well. <laughs> How unconfirmed. Oh, it, it existed in Wind Waker days. It even comes with trumpets. Oh. What was that? I'm still gutted Reggie oh, Gigas didn't sorry. get a primal reversion. What would a primal Reggie Gigas look like? Just a jagged bunch of rocks? I can imagine him being a lot more bigger. He's and a lot more huge. Better. Yeah, but he, so, he sucks. Oh, instead, of, instead of slow start, he gets fast start. Beginning of every battle, he actually has double every set. No, I'd actually see him getting true one. You don't need to see all that. Just think about it. Red Gears with like a high attack speed stat would probably be double that of the uh, slacking. Red Gears with a boost to any stat is deadly. So instead of giving it a slow start, Truant would have been better. Yeah. Anyway, what do we have on Stone Watcher Island? Triforce piece. Not a Triforce charge, which the original would give you. Yep. Triforce piece. And we only need six more. Oh. Just be across a soaking land. Is that all the trivia we have for this video? Is that all the what? Is that all the trivia we have? I've got trivia page open if we have. If you want some more. Uh, yeah, sure. I might listen to a bit. <laughs> all right, let me look for a good one. Until then, feel time. Um, nice weather we're having. <sighs> not in this game or not. And another fucking Octorok. Definitely not good weather. Are you ready for Freddy? Oh yeah, Shade, I forgot to mention. Uh, see in Ultimax, uh, you know the Yunarakami combo when he slides in and it breaks your blocking? Uh -huh. He no longer has that in his regular combo. Um, Adachi's dad, a dad, kind of OP. Well, he fucking would be, one. not he? Oh, he's OP in the fact that he has, like, you know, like, use, like, um, Zeodyne move? That's his regular circle move. Uh, and his down circle, Maggot's reason, Aggie literally comes down and slams on top of you, no matter where you are. There's a lot of Maggots Rizanagi's moves are just, like, purposely made to look as if it's literally beating the shit out of you. That sounds right. Okay. He literally, he, he literally impales you, throws you to the ground, and starts whacking you. Okay. I found a good piece of trivia to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about our good old friends, the Choo Choo's. Now the trivia is this, the audio used for the Choo Choo's is an argument between two Japanese men, but sped up and played in reverse. The man at the start says, at least I'm not balded, and the man near the end says, and looking like you are, people would think you're a monster. 
Wouldn't Japanese players realize that? Again, it is played in reverse. Uh, reverse. Yeah, they sped it up, played it in reverse. But that is actually something I didn't know, and that is freaking interesting. Oh, here's another thing that we saw in the video, but I never pointed out. In the Nintendo gallery for the game, if you look behind the counter and on the wall, you will actually see some of the masks from Majora's Mask. And a model of the moon at that. In particular, you will see the Bunny Mask, the All Night Mask, the Gora Mask, and the Keton Mask. And there's also a Chateau Romani on the shelf. There are a lot of connections to the fucking Majora's Mask in here. They were hinting Majora's Mask 3D even before. <laughs> oh god. I would love to see that. Okay. That... Okay, that's most of the good trivia I have for you. I mean, there are other bits, but... Eh. Oh yeah, it's also Link's Private Oasis. You know, we got the deed from that one teacher on the uh, windfall. It is actually a pretty nice place in the daytime. It looks like a dump. Aw, oh, cat. Sorry, guys. Is that Monty? Yes. Hi, Monty. Say hello to the people. I'm sorry, he doesn't do it on command. Oh, damn it, Monty. Don't! Touch me with those filthy hands! Oh my god, it's a talking door! Quick, break it down! This is the most uppity door I've ever seen in my life. Jacob Marley? Mm. <laughs> uh, look at this, oh, show him oh. a fucking deed. Are you Master Link? <laughs> no, I'm Master Astar. Where's my bitches? If only we actually did a lost story LP now. We'll probably do one in the future. Whenever I figure out how to make that game not want to kill me. Yeah, I remember how much you were rage quitting on the turtle boss. <gasps> I was rage quitting. Specifically, I was rage quitting at that one point where you had to fight your reflections. Oh yeah, that part. And during the haunted mansion. And wasn't the haunted mansion optional? Yeah. Pretty sure it was optional, so I didn't even have to do that one. Also, yes, yeah, there's a puzzle in here. So if it's an AMV you need, I want to show you uh, when this is done. Alright. Yeah, there's a puzzle in here, you can do it, but it doesn't do anything, it'll just change to a different puzzle. You yeah, know, this place looks pretty nice. You got a yeah, nice do a bit. More paper. Yes. And now we go under the house. Which is the a teacher not with us? I don't know, but this is very complicated for a simple small island. Has a bit of a rat infestation. I'm sure we could like gas them all. Yes. Sizzle, how does all this fit under the island? How big is this island underground? You could ask the same on how like they could fit a secret laboratory under Raccoon City. I ask a lot of things about Raccoon City. You're in Raccoon City. It's a zombie abyss. It's dangerous to go. I don't take this. No, the fact that the streets in Raccoon City are so un illogical. Everything in Raccoon City is illogical. Just the name Raccoon City is illogical. There's no raccoons. There's no raccoons. And that's not even as much of a city. It's more of a town. Yes, there's a difference. You don't. 
instead of house keys, people have emblems for their front door. Just like, ah oh, shit, I lost the wolf breast. Fucking wolf breast. How am I supposed to get in my house now? I'm so, I just imagine. Because of one puzzle in Kingdom Hearts where you actually need to find the heartless emblem just to open one door in a Hollow Bastion, I just yeah. imagine like Leon just going through Hollow Bastion looking for the emblem pieces. <laughs> Leon! Hell! Shut up, Ashley! I'm fighting off black monsters here! And no, I'm not talking about my dick! Oh! It doesn't make sense because Leon's white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we never know what Leon's hiding under those leather pants. Those are leather pants? Jesus! You don't know? <laughs> they just look like jeans to me. That's a nice jacket he wears, though. Which one? The one in four or the one from six? The one in four. Yeah, that is a nice jacket. I actually have one like it. I want to get. I want to get one like that. I'd say one like the one in six, but I do not wear leather well. I'm a big, bulky guy. Big, bulky guys don't. Well, they do, but not that kind of leather. You know what I want? What? Cerberus. Which Cerberus are we talking about here? Shouldn't have got the chance to say styled Cerberus. A line for tail. Well, we're just talking about mythical creatures we want. I want a Hydra. And why are there dead bodies in my fucking oasis? This would be like a s strange, like, idea for a uh, horror story. You come to the oasis, but you never leave. And that is a horrible ground texture. They could have at least made those things, like, pop out a little bit. Also, I'm not sure if you can tell from the way I'm moving in this video, but I can barely see when I'm recording this. My TV is a lot darker than the actual recording. Any further on, we will reach Hyrule Australia. Hyrule Australia. Well, for sure, it'd be Hyrule China. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, actually, we, we let's say we went so far down in this fucking mini dungeon that we just found low rule. <laughs> Just like, oh. just like, just like everyone in our world has died, and we spent the rest of the game saving Lowell. Ah, uh, Hilda. I've never played Link Between Worlds, but I've heard decent things. So have I. I want to play it though. That's a good game. I'm not usually a fan of top-down Zelda's, but I do like Lo I do like uh, Link Between Worlds. I heard that Shadow Link was in it. Yes. And he's right under your nose the entire time. I actually wouldn't mind them to do another thing that's in Four Sword where Shadow Link was the antagonist. Man apparently purchases over 100 Rosalina and Luna amiibo, so fans can't. Dick! I don't want a Rosalina and Luma amiibo. Yeah. I saw a screenshot of like a. Uh, the. Some of the upcoming Wave 3 amiibos. And? They're apparently gonna be revealing like. Ike next. Uh, of course they will. And Toon Link. Where's my Greninja? I'm gonna get me a Toon Link amiibo! Can't use it for shit, but I'm gonna get it anyway! I think that's a Shulk one as well, Shade. There's a what? What? A Shulk one? I'll get that. Shulk amiibo as well. Here's my list of amiibos. Uh, Shulk, I've Link, Lucina, Captain Falcon. I've actually gone really good with Ike. And Zero Soul Samus. And Little Mac. I use Ike as much as I do Pikachu. Hey, did I ever tell you about this one guy at my school and his amiibos? Yep. He has... He has like a Pikachu and a Mario amiibo. They're both level 50 and they're fucking dicks to fight. And do you know what he called them? 
What? Pikachu's nickname is Little Fuck. <laughs> and Mario's nickname is Super Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's good. And fuck! I wish I could actually modify this Pikachu amiibo I have. Make it look like Jacob. Yep. Just for the record, I did not spend a, a long time out here. What actually happened was I forgot how to do this, so I spent a lot of time running in and out of this door. And then I remembered, oh wait, that's how you fucking do it, you dumbass. And also I failed the lava again. Cause it got locked out. Oh shit, if you did get a Captain Falcon amigo, amiibo, you could actually like have his outfit in Mario Kart 8, that'd be cool. And that's exactly why I want that. Come on! If Captain Falcon won't get his own game, then I will represent Captain Falcon in Mario Kart. Come on! Falcon lost it! And so it's a day! Okay! Fucking punch! Uh, it's super effective. I miss Brawl and the family. Me too. I'm just saying, Brawl and the family, dude, if you ever decide to come back to it, one shot, nice. If you ever decide we... to come back, I think we'll love it. God bless you, Matthew Toronto. God bless you indeed. I like Snafu. Who's that? Snafu. Uh, that's the person who, who drew... Uh, Grim Tales, Powerpuff Girls, and Sugar Bits. I never watched. Book I Dumb. never read Grim Tales. Le oh. And that was the that was the artist's real name. Oh, alias. Book Zombies good as well. And I've never read Awkward Zombies. You got a very darker humor compared to uh, Born and Family. Well, I do love me some dark humor. Back some dark humor right now sounds about good. And fuck it! You knocked him out! That was a clear shot! Eh? Nothing but basket! I mean, <gasps> oh. I also saw, like, the Panapha comic on BG Cat. This is my fucking lowest. I can barely breathe. Heart piece! Woo! Only three hearts left. So that's how many heart pieces? Twelve? Yep. And with this mini dungeon out the way, we are done with this video. Ooh! Get the confetti! Don't be happy, we still got two more to do. No! Next time, guys, we continue our exploration.